siblings and I were born in the most beautiful city in the world, Hamburg. And as daughter of immigrants, I was always fascinated about the opportunities that digitalization provides us. And this was not only the case for me, also for my brother and sister. My sister works as a software developer for an e-commerce company based in Hamburg. My brother won his very first hackathon at the age of 15. And I myself work as a data lead and tech evangelist at Axel Springer, Europe's largest media and technology Furthermore, I also founded Inclusive Tech, and we are Europe's first lobby and consulting organization on the topic of diversity, equity, inclusion in the tech industry, as well as AI ethics. And today I'm going to share with you the lessons that my parents taught me, and that till today greatly influenced the work I'm doing now. In the early 1990s, my parents had to fear for their life and escape from Afghanistan due to the civil war. And as political activists, they always deeply care about democracy, freedom of speech, as well as gender equality. And my parents were already at home when it wasn't a buzzword. When they arrived in Germany, they found themselves in a completely new environment. I became the first woman in my family to 
to graduate from university. And I didn't study computer science or business information systems. I always wanted to have impact, which is why I wanted originally to become a journalist or activist. And after my high school graduation, I decided to go to Tanzania and work on renewable energy. When I came back to Germany, then I started studying social science. And one day, I attended a lecture on the topic of econometrics. It sounds nerdy, and I know some people are like, oh my gosh, that's not my favorite subject. But I was really intrigued by it because I understood the power of data and also data analytics. That you need to have data and facts to really undermine your hypothesis, your arguments, and that it can be an incredibly powerful tool. And this is why I decided to start studying economics to understand how our system works and be able to predict future trends and developments. And in order to be able to analyze large volumes of data, I have to overcome some fear. And the fear I had was programming. But I knew if I teach myself a programming language such as Python, then I will be able to derive more insights and have more meaning for my work. And this is how I came into the field of big data analytics. So I made a letter of entry to the tech industry, and I can tell you it wasn't easy at all in the beginning. I was really frustrated because I did a beginner mistake and purchased so many courses on Udemy, several books, watched YouTube tutorials on continuous use, and still didn't make any progress. Month after month passed. that you 
need resilience not only in challenging situations, but also in everyday life. And resilience is really the key to success. Either if you want to establish yourself successfully in a new industry or in a new country. There was a really long time where I didn't know who I was or where I belonged. At home, I was living my Central Asian culture and outside of my own four walls, I was the German Mina who was really into Bertolt Brecht and Heinrich Heine and a sort of African immigrants. I really didn't fit into the image of the new Germany. And therefore, it wasn't easy sometimes if it comes down to acceptance. And today, I'm quite happy that I can fit in. Because I realize that you really don't need to fit in. If you think of data, you also have outliers in the data set. And that's quite normal. The question here is, how do you deal with it? Do you keep the outlier in the data set to understand it? Or do you remove the outlier to give a homogeneous picture? Sometimes 
what we get, the privilege we also have. Often we hear in the media about discriminating algorithms, about the fear of job loss through AI. And that might be the case. But in times like these, we need more courage. More courage to drive digitalization for more. To really push for innovation, technology, and change. Without courage, my parents wouldn't have left their home country and start from zero. Without courage, I would not have entered the tech industry and get into the field of data. Without courage, I wouldn't be here, standing right now and sharing my story. So, what I really want us to acknowledge is also that the tech industry provides endless opportunities information and get knowledgeable around the topic, but you only gain perspective if you experience it yourself and you live it. This is why it is so important to bring different people together with different perspectives, opinions and experiences to reflect those realities of life. Into the products and services.